Hey everybody, Kyrie 91 hanging out with you, and boy oh boy are we going to have some big fun today playing Final Fantasy 2. So in between this episode and last, I went back into the sealed cave, killed a bunch of those trapdoors, gained a bunch of levels, and we're now ready to move forward. Well, the thing we're actually supposed to do next is uh, go back to the castle and tell them about the whole thing with Golbez getting the last crystal and all that. We're going to take a bit of a detour. Before we go there, we're going to head over here to uh, South America real quick. And we're going to save it and we're going to head into the Amazon up here in the northern part of South America. This is the land... Oh, I came here on my way from the land of summon monsters. Let's ask for help. This is the land of summon monsters. Now, you see the glowy stuff on the floor? When you step on that, it hurts you. It hurts you to walk on the floor in here. Unless, of course, you have Rosa cast float on everybody. So now we're all floating. And we are free to walk on this glowy stuff as much as we want, and it won't hurt us, because we're floating. All right. So let's head through the land of the summon monsters real quick. It's just a little side quest we're going to do here. Uh, we'll fight these red-eye guys, I guess. I don't really know. I don't really remember much about them, but... Hopefully they're not too tough. Okay, yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> um, in going back through the sealed cave, I actually missed some kind of important stuff. I missed some really good gear for Edge, a good helmet, and um, another long sword for him uh, that I wish I would have had before. And uh, yeah, that's probably the only major thing I missed by not going into all the trapdoors on the first time through. So I guess I recommend that, you know, if you ever get around to play in this game, definitely hit all the trapdoors your first time going through there. Don't do what I did and go back through like that. That was dumb. Shouldn't have done that. You're just a boy. I don't want to fight these guys. I'm here for a very particular purpose. I'm not here to, like, gain levels or fight those guys. All right. Um, and... The float spell wears off on every floor, so you have to redo it every time you go up, uh, up or down a floor. I just said I don't want to fight you guys. Jeez. They clearly don't get it. Oh my good gravy. Conjurer. We'll fight this conjurer. Oh, he's going to call something. He's going to call a clapper. Okay. Well, hello there, buddy. Yeah, I can call stuff, too. Hmm. Let's call him Mist Dragon. Oh, SpaghettiOs. Right, we're going to peep on this clapper here and see what he's weak to. Wow, he has 7,000. Weak against arrows? Oh, I, I got those. I want to get rid of that Conjurer first, though, because he's just going to call another one. There we go. Rosa, it's your time to shine, dear. Oh, and the other thing I found in the um, sealed cave that I didn't get was a ninja star. It's different than a shuriken. It's better than a shuriken. It does more damage, but uh, I didn't grab it the first time. I think he's. Gonna, I think that's like his counter attack. I probably shouldn't have had... No, it's not. Okay. Ooh, out of arrows. Let's see what we got for arrows we can put on here. Medusa arrows. Alright. Let's use some of those. And, yeah, anyways. So the Ninja Star is actually much more powerful than the Shuriken. I kind of wish I would have had it. It would have made that evil wall fight a little bit easier. But I didn't have it. But I do have it now. There we go. That better give me some good stuff. Ah, eh, only 3,000. But Rosa gained a level. That's always nice. Let's go over here. Oh, all that for a cure, too. Doesn't it look like it was going to be something pretty spectacular? Okay. Now, this fight is exceptionally easy because the only move that this Arachne chick with, you know, the nice boobs can do, the only thing she can do is that Quake thing. And uh, we're floating, so it'll never hurt us. 
So we will always fight the Arachnes in here whenever we run into them. Ha! <laughs> Medusa arrows randomly turn enemies into stone. Funny, funny stuff. Alright. Onward. I don't remember there being a lot of... See, I don't really care too much about getting treasures like Cure 2 potions and cabins and stuff, because I can buy those. The stuff I'm after are is, is like equipment. Like, you can't buy a light sword, the one that we found in the sealed cave just now. You can't buy the light sword. It's not for sale anywhere. Well, look underneath us now. It doesn't look like cave down there anymore. All right, boom. It was done. So you can see the floor underneath us. We're not... Good gravy. Well, you could have seen the floor. Hooligans! Those hooligans! Uh, that uh, underneath us is no longer cave-looking stuff. Can we get over there? No. I feel like that's something good. I feel like I want to go get that. I don't want to fight this guy again. Oh, he called an arachne. Maybe I will fight him. No, I won't. I just don't really need the experience that bad. I'm actually a pretty decent level at this point. Uh, my benchmarks that I use is like, does Rosa know wall and float at this point in the game? And she does. She knows both of those. So I can't be too far behind where I, I expect myself to be at this point. I already fought a bunch of those guys. I don't want to fight them again. Poison Axe. Ninja Sword and Cure 2. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm after. Let's equip that Ninja Sword here. I don't know about that Poison Axe. I really like this Light Sword I just got. Let's see what's up with the Poison Axe. Where you at, Poison... Oh. Well, he can't even use the damn Poison Axe. Can Edge use it? Who uses the Poison Axe, I wonder? Maybe Kane. Maybe I was supposed to come here before. Nope. Well, I don't know, maybe that poison axe is totally worthless to me now. Alright. See that little teleporter thingy right there is where we're heading. Unless I want to go over here first and get this treasure, and I do. Ah, yeah, yeah. You hooligans, leave me alone! Alright. Oh, monsters! Oh, warriors. We're going to blitz these warriors, guys. Wow. Oh, stop it. Stupid jerks. We're going to tighten these guys up here. Tighten up. If Rydia doesn't die, we're going to tighten them up here. Ha. Ah, deal with that, warrior. Deal with some blitz. Zap. Wow, that was really effective. Okay. Alright, Titan, do your thing, buddy. Hit him! Woo! That did the trick. Cecil gained a level, good on you. What do we get from that? A defense sword. Um, is that better than the light sword? I don't think it is, but I think it, like, increases his defense. Let's check it out. Okay, it's better than the damn light sword. Like, in every respect. Well, that light sword didn't last too long. I remembered the light sword being really good for, like, a long time. Boom. It was done. Alright. Rydia learned drain. Good for you, Rydia. Drain just siphons, uh, takes M HP from a bad guy, gives it to Rydia. Look at this. Look where we are. Where are we? Other than Rydia, we're the first humans to visit the land of summon monsters. Well, this is a neat little place, huh? Alright. How neat. 
So summoners like Rydia can summon the monsters that live in this area. Let's go back up one level real quick and go get this treasure box. A rat tail. Remember that guy up in the overworld that collects tail? I think, hey, Rydia, he's, he's what a friendly guy. Well, I think we got some tail for that guy. All right. Let's go in here real quick. Life potion, huh? And a heal potion. Well, there's a save point here. We may as well save it. I really like the music in this place. I like the music just about everywhere in this game, but, like, I don't know. This is just really good stuff. Alright, let's see what kind of weapons we can buy. We can buy good stuff for Radio. Wow. Buy her a Blitz Whip. I don't really want to get her that, though. Let's go check out the armor shop. Our friends are not behaving themselves. So, apparently... Some monsters, like these guys, are good guys. A queen named Ashura. We'll have to go meet up with this queen. Aegis shield. Sorcerer thing. I want one of each of those, don't I? I do. I really do. Alright. We'll give you the sorcerer thing since we gave the, um... That's way better. Since we gave the black shirt to Radia. Okay. We're gonna sell that diamond shield back here. And we'll sell some of this other junk. We'll sell this. That. I guess Kane's gone, so we're gonna sell his stupid blizzard pike. Mmm, that's a lot of money. Maybe I should keep it. Nope, it's gone. What about you? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to look into that. I feel like I did something wrong with the light sword. So I'm going to look into, like, why it's suddenly not that good. I could buy another sorcerer thingy for Rydia. Alright, I'm going to go save it one more time, and then we'll go talk to, uh, is there an inn down here, I wonder? Uh, are you the inn person? Yeah. We'll stay at the inn. We'll go save it. Then we'll go talk to the Queen Ashura that this guy was telling us about. Now it's important to note this whole thing into the Land of Summon Monsters. This is a side quest. You don't have to do this ever. Um, you should, but you don't have to. If you just want to go straight to the dwarves and tell them about Golbez getting the last crystal and all that, then, you know, you can move forward with the game like that. Um, I have a good reason for wanting to do this first, uh, which will become a little bit obvious later, but for now, you know, just trust me when I say it's a good idea. So, we're gonna go, oh, come on, you. I'm gonna go down here into the basement of the library. You need Queen Ashura's permission to talk to the master. The room for the king and queen. The king, not me. I guess we'll talk to Queen Ashura. Hey, Queen Ashura. Courage and... Yeah, we're going to do it. We are going to challenge Queen Ashura. Ooh, she is ugly. And she does cure four on herself. Well, that's a bitch, huh? And she does cure three on herself. Well, that's a bitch, huh? And she counterattacks really, really hard. And she does life one on herself. God, man. Okay. Alright. Strategy session. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cast Wall on Ashura. Um, so now every time Ashura tries to cast Cure 3 or Cure 4 on herself, it's just going to bounce right off. 
We're gonna try to do Blitz and see if that works and if she counterattacks. Because if she doesn't counterattack, then I think we have a winner for Edge. 900. Does she counterattack when we do that? She sure does. Okay, so that's not gonna work. See, this is this is what's tricky. This is what's tricky. All right. What about Titan? Let's see about Titan. How's that gonna? Come on, why can't you hit the ones that need to be healed, like freaking Rosa? Well, Rydia kind of needed to be healed, so thank you. Um, I guess we'll do fast on Cecil, so you can do a little bit more damage. I don't, I don't really know. I kind of want to use that Ninja Star, man. No, I better say that. There'll be more important stuff down the road we can do with that. There you go. Thank you. I just, I don't know. Let's see how good Titan does here. It's important to note that summons don't bounce off walls, so just because she's what, that was good. Just, oh, my word. Please hit edge. Oh, lordy. All right. I am going to re-wall Ashura, because I don't want that wall to wear off ever. I don't want her to be able to cure for herself. So we're going to do this again, and it might bounce off of her. Yeah, now Rydia right, is walled. Oh, boy. Have Edge Cure 3 himself. Um, jeez. <sighs> Never hits the right person. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, Rydia is dead. Nah, <laughs> I didn't hit right yet, unfortunately. That would have been cool. Nope, no such luck. Alright, we'll do it like this. Okay. No, 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 no. Ha! What a waste of a cure, too, Rosa. You're dumb. I'm really worried that that wall is about to wear off of Ashura and she's going to start curing herself. And we have not really done all that much damage. So, like, it's not going to take much. I don't know. All right, we're going to wall. We're going to wall her again. Hopefully this sticks. Son of a bitch. All right. Yes, that's right, hit Cecil. All right. Jeez, dude. Okay. I am really terrified that that freaking Cure 4 is going to hit. Cure 4 heals, like, way too much, man. We really cannot afford for Cure 4 to stick ever during this fight. We really need to, like, make sure that that never happens. Oh, look what we did! Now, look what I did. I'm not going to pin that on you guys. Just for watching me be stupid and... Ah, <laughs> of course. Right after I use a freaking potion. Tighten. Tighten up, you all. This is a fun battle, but boy, is it challenging. But I do like, I do like the, how much you have to strategize. You know, you can't just start attacking her because she'll beat the hell out of you with her counterattacks. So, like, you really do need to make each attack count. You can't just, you know, burst Cecil or Edge or something because you'll end up dying from the counterattacks. Ugh. Man, we got to be getting close to killing Ashura right now. I think that, like, the... Do you see how she has, like, different faces? I think that, like, her faces die independently of each other. I think that you can, like, kill the Cure 3 face. 
Dude, I think Edge does more damage than Cecil right now. And that counterattack does not hurt Cecil. I wish they would keep hitting Cecil with it. Okay, the wall has worn off Rydia. It has to have worn off a sure. I mean, I know she just did Cure 3, but, like, I really don't want to lose any of the damage that we've done here. And I... Oh God. God, I am bad at this. Can you imagine if I was good at this where I would be going to have edge attack? Oh boy. Eat Titan and die! Jeez. Nope. Alright. Man, this fight's taking a while. I wanted to get to the next one in this episode. I don't think it's in the cards, man. I don't think we're going to be able to... I think we'll just have to beat... Oh, yeah! 5,000 experience. Nice. So, Rydia learned Ashura. We can now summon Ashura. How about that? Alright, first thing we need to do is go to the inn and save it. I think we will fight the other dude right now, too, before we... In the episode. Maybe we'll try to knock out the entire land of the summon monsters in one episode. That'd be fun, right? Alright, where's the inn? Yes, I'd like to stay. If that's alright with you guys. Okay, come on now. All right. And let's go ahead and save. We're going to the other fight probably won't take as long. There's another fight we got to do another pretty significant boss battle. You have to beat Ashura first though. So we got it saved. We're going to go down here and tackle this other one. And this one, you... Do we have literature? Great Whale Descent. You can read all those books. In fact, I think I will in the next episode or something. Alright. Okay, we're going for it. Leviathan. Or Leviathan, I guess. Big wave. That was a pretty big wave. Alright, we're going to blitz him. Because he's weak to lightning, I believe, since he's, you know, water-based. Wow, dude. Quit freaking hitting people with stuff, jerk. Eat blitz and die. Alright. You. You will call... Son of a bitch. You will call son of a bitch. You're going to call Indra. We gotta bring Rosa back. We're gonna need her healing powers for this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use the Cure 3 on Rosa because I don't want her to die right away. And I feel like, God damn it, she's gonna die right away. And I just wasted a fucking Cure 3 potion. Uh, maybe we weren't strong enough to do this yet. Maybe we should not have attempted Leviathan yet. All right, there you go. Good job. That's how you do it. Don't die right here. Ninja Star! Cure three on everyone, please. Hurry, Rosa. No! Every time he turns upside down, he does big wave. So right is dead. Rosa's still going to get to cure three everyone, though. That's good. All right. 
I didn't even see how much damage was done by that that uh, thing we just did. The ninja star. Last cure three potion. Honestly. Cure three on everyone. Dude, don't do that. Alright. You know, maybe lit two instead of Indra, because Indra takes so long to cast. So maybe just lit two. And maybe some more blitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big wave. We get it. That's all you freaking do, Leviathan. Alright. Cure three, everyone. Let's see what Lit 2 does. Oh, okay, we're going with Lit 2 from now on. Um, I don't know, man. Is Rosa going to get that casted in time? There we go. Good job, Rosa. Lit's. Lit 2. Tier 3 on everyone. Alright. Dude, come on. You gotta die pretty soon, Leviathan. You can't just keep on living. That's not cool. Big wave! Come on, bring it on. Do your stupid big wave. Ugh. No! I'm out of MP. We're just gonna attack. Go for it. I'm gonna cast lit too. Don't you freaking kill Rosa. Don't you do it. There. No! There we go, Rosa. Although the the ice too does like more damage. All right, lit two, lit two. And Cecil is not being that useful in this fight. This would have been a time when if I wasn't so busy curing every god dang turn. I would probably have just bursked Cecil, but Rosa is curing every turn, so what am I going to do? Zap. Dude, just, just die already. Come on. Come on. Alright. Let two. Good gravy, dude. Alright. Every turn, I'm just doing Cure 3 here. That's all I'm getting to do here with... Son of a bitch! Maybe I'll leave him... Maybe I'll leave him dead. I don't know. I don't really need him for anything. Hey, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, I'm back. Big wave. Jeez, this fight is taking much way longer than I want it to. I just want to be done. I just want to be done with this fight. I just don't want to do it anymore. Ugh. Alright, come on now. Just die already. Please. Pretty please. Dude, why is his ice too? I don't know. No one else seems to be able to do that to us with friggin' ice too. 
This guy's got some beefy magic power or something, because his ice too is like Radon. You see? I don't know, man. I might end up having to split this episode up into two episodes, because this is taking way too long, and I can't exactly stop in the middle of a friggin' fight. Just die already, friggin' Leviathan? Come on, man. Ah. Oh my god. How much HP can this guy possibly have? Thank God. Oh my word. 9,000 experience for that. Cecil didn't get any of it. Okay. So now we got the Leviathan summon. That's a really good summon to have around. Okay. Now, we head out of here. And... Alright. The last thing we're going to do before we end the episode is... You see all those treasures underneath us there that we can't seem to get to? For years... Oh, wrong way. For years, I had no idea how to get those treasures. And, um... Uh, throughout, like, my entire childhood, I had no idea how to get them. And then one day, many years later, I noticed that this one... Oh, forgot a chest. This one spot looks funny right here. So I walked onto it, and it takes you down here. Look at that. We get a samurai bow and some samurai arrows. We'll give those to Rosa. Increase her attack power significantly. And that's all that's down here. And then you can step on this thing. And it takes you right back out to South America. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode because we're way the heck over. Um, I'm going to head over to the Dwarf Castle. And we will next time head into the castle and let them know about all the nonsense. You know, with the crystal and everything. We're back on track now even though Cecil's dead. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Uh, when we're playing uh, Final Fantasy 2. Alright. Have a good day. Yeah. Okay.